Roman aqueduct. The Romans constructed numerous aqueducts in order to bring water from distant sources into their cities and towns, supplying public paths, latrines, fountains, and private households. Wastewater was removed by complex sewage systems and released into nearby bodies of water, keeping the towns clean and free from effluent. Aqueducts also provided water for mining operations, milling, farms, and gardens. Aqueducts moved water through gravity alone, being constructed along a slight downward gradient within conduits of stone, bricks, or concrete. Most were buried beneath the ground and followed its contours, obstructing peaks were circumvented or less often tunneled through. Cities and municipalities throughout the Roman Empire emulated this model and funded aqueducts as objects of public interest and civic pride, an expensive yet necessary luxury to which all could and did aspire. St. Louis Arch Jefferson National Expansion Memorial was created in 1935 and became part of the National Park Service. Civic leader Luther Alice Smith conceived the idea of building a memorial to help revive the riverfront and memorialize the story of the nation's westward expansion. Through a nationwide design competition conducted in 1947 to 1948, Eero Sarinen's stainless steel arch was chosen as the memorial that would celebrate the accomplishments of early pioneers. St. Louis celebrated with a groundbreaking on June 23, 1959. Triumphal Arch A triumphal arch is a monumental structure in the shape of an archway with one or more arch passageways, often designed to span a road. In its simplest form, a triumphal arch consists of two massive pairs connected by an arch crowned with a flat entablature or attic on which a statue might be mounted or which bears commemorative inscriptions. The main structure is often decorated with carvings, sculpted reliefs, and dedications. More elaborate triumphal arches may have multiple archways. Triumphal arches are one of the most influential and distinctive types of architecture associated with ancient Rome. Thought to have been invented by the Romans, the triumphal arch was used to commemorate victorious generals or significant public events such as the founding of new colonies, the construction of a road or bridge, the death of a member of the imperial family, or the accession of a new emperor. Iwakuni, 20 miles southwest of Hiroshima, is an industrial city located on a delta of the Nishiki River in the Inland Sea. Its main attraction is Kintai Bridge, sometimes called the Abacus Bids Bridge because of its shape. Originally built in 1673, this unique five-span bridge is 600 feet long and 50 feet wide and 36 feet above the water at its tallest point. Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge spanning the Golden Gate Strait the 1 mile or 1.6 kilometers wide, 3 mile or 5 kilometers long channel between San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. The structure links the U.S. city of San Francisco on the northern tip of the San Francisco Peninsula to Marin County, bridging both U.S. Road 101 and California State Road 1 across the strait. The bridge is one of the most internationally recognized symbols of San Francisco, California, and the United States. It has been declared one of the wonders of the modern world by the American Society of Civil Engineers. The Farmer's Travel Guide considers the Golden Gate Bridge possibly the most beautiful, certainly the most photographed bridge in the world. It opened in 1937 and was, until 1964, the longest suspension bridge main span in the world, at 4,200 feet or 1,300 meters. I'm in love, I'm in love like this for the first time. I'm in love, I'm in love with a boy like you. I never thought, never thought I'd be swept off a straight line. I never thought, never thought that I'd run into.
to you Don't you know, don't you know that you'll be mine To the same melody He doesn't know it yet But that's alright It's just a matter of time Before the sun shines